Hello and welcome to this quick tip video for F-Expansion's Etch Red, our dual filter reason rack extension plugin. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the key track feature to accurately set a filter's cutoff frequency from either MIDI or CV input. I'm going to insert Etch Red into the signal path of this Dr. Octorex loop player. We can see that the output of Dr. Octorex is going to the input of Etch Red and the output of Etch Red is going to the mixer channel. I'm going to set the filter type to comb and push the resonance up to almost 100%. And most importantly, I'm going to enable key track. Now, in order to send some MIDI to Etch Red, I'm going to need a track in Reason Sequencer. If I right click on Etch Red and go Create Track for Etch 1, we should see it appear there in the sequencer. I've got a pad part in the sequencer here already, so I'm going to copy and paste this into the etch track. And we'll use some of the MIDI in here. I'm going to delete most of it because, because we want monophonic MIDI going to the etch red. Now if I press play we should hear these MIDI notes setting the precise frequency for the comb filter. And just to prove that these frequencies make musical sense, let's hear the pad sound at the same time. So, without the filter, that's just the dry drum loop. and with the filter. And that is how to use Etch Red's key track feature.